What's going on guys? It's your boy. We're back. Welcome to another level arms and I have one of my favorite red dots uh, red dot system that I wanted to review you guys. Catch you guys in a bit. Let's go down to FaceTime. What's going on guys? We're back to FaceTime. Here is your another red dot system from Chichicon. This is the Chichicon SRO. This is one of my favorite, favorite optics. Okay. What's in the case? As you can see, good hollow case. Okay, here's your um, information here. Chichicon SRO, sight adjustable LED at 2.5 MOA. This is your 2.5 MOA. Sorry, intervention. The puppy is being stupid. As usual, being a little weird, a little wild. Here's the serial number, hard case, nothing crazy here. Nice protective case. What I love about Chichicon is they always come in a nice case to protect the lens. Okay, here is your red dot. Down here below, we got your Allen wrench key, your two long screws. I don't know what kind of Loctite that is. This is about to be either red or blue. Most of the time it's blue, but why this one's white? Anyhow, move on. We got your Trigicon sticker. Your Trigicon sticker. We got your uh, family product here for more merchandise. So they have all kinds of um, stuff. You know, magnifier, MRO, ACOG, RMR. You got your Credo, Vlogs, without well, no, VCOG. Uh, Aim, uh, AccuPoint, different kind of setups you want to run on your pistol or rifle, okay? Next is your instruction book manual, as usual. That's what it usually comes with, nothing crazy. It looks like it's, yeah, mostly black and white. Nothing crazy, okay? Then you got your battery, okay, energizer battery. And your warranty card, I think. No. Thank you for pretty much just that was a warranty card. Okay, moving on. So here is the SRO. Okay. Um share the same footprint as the RMR. Made in the USA, if you guys can see. That's important to me. Okay. We got your positive, we got your negative here. You got your right and left adjustments here. We got your up and down adjustments here. One click equals one MOA. Here is your battery tray here. So you use a screwdriver. Okay, unscrew that. You need to change the battery out. One thing I love about the function is that they have a battery to open the door. Compared to a traditional MRR, you have to remove the whole entire RMR to go underneath the red dot system to remove the battery, which I do not like. Um, usually, uh, most common thing is why people don't want to remove a rod, red dot system off your pistol, um, or your offset rifle is that they are afraid to lose zero when they remove the optic off the tray because they have to remove it to change out the battery. Um, so that's a big plus. At least it's there, there, or at least there's a tray on the side to slide in and out to change the battery, but that's a big plus. Um, you see a nice reticle here, nice and round, and there is no battery in here. Yeah, there's no battery in here. Um, I don't want to put the battery in it right now because I'm saving this for um, another piece that I'm trying to get, another fire I'm trying to get, a pistol, for this uh, SRO. Um, give and take. You know what? Screw it. That way you guys can see it. I'm doing the review anyways. Oh, but I do need a screwdriver. And I have my leather man. Cool, 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 cool. I'm going to bust my leather man. <clears throat> nope. Too small. Let me see the fat side. Maybe that won't work. Yeah, this will work. Let me close this side. I always carry my leather, man. You never know when you need it. Cool. So 
Sorry about that, guys. My battery died on my GoPro. I'm gonna get another battery. I'm gonna turn the light back on. There we go. Oh, it does have a battery inside. Hmm. Maybe the battery died. That's okay. No big deal. Where is there a slot I can take out of? That means thick. There you go. We didn't want to come out earlier. Cool. Great. Now we got dogs barking outside too. It in. There shouldn't be that much going in. What the hell? <sighs> there it goes. I was like, why it keeps spinning? But it's not snug. Now it's snug. Cool. Cool. We're done. Oh, Jesus, why it keeps spinning? crazy okay we get the battery exchange out and now we have the red dot I'll use this as a blank you guys can see where is it oh yes yeah, it's faded it's very faded let me crank it up there it goes there we go. So here is your 2.5 MOA. You guys can see. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite red dot. I love this optic. The best ones. The best ones I have. Okay, so now we switch to the battery. No, there's battery power in here now. Put that away. We get your scale. Now this one comes with two screws and it's Allen wrench key. I'm going to take out the Allen wrench key and just leave the screws in it for weight. Okay, the red dot. The red dot weighing at 1.5 ounces with the screws. 1.6 uh, 1.6 1.7 not around there okay cool so you can add 1.6 weight to your pistol I'm using this for a pistol you can use this for your AR um, offset whichever you like man that reticle is badass love that reticle man just love it Shines good. Okay. 
Now, I'll give you guys another like, comparison. Now, this is the share the same footprint as the RMR. Okay. So, you guys seen this reticle here. Okay. A little bit too bright. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, that is your vertical. All right, here is my RMR. This is the version two. Let's see if you guys better in it. It might be it might be dead. Oh no, it's still alive. Right there. See it? It has a blue tint to it for the RMR. Same thing with this one here. This one has a little blue tint to it. Is that a blue tint to it? See a difference? See a difference? Okay, so see, as you can see, it's more around here on top on the arm bar. Side button here. Okay. Elevation right and left. Up and top. And you see there is no battery tray so in order for me to change battery see there's no battery tray in here so there's no tray on the side nowhere nowhere close to that so in order for me to change the battery on this if this one dies out i literally have to unbolt this out lift it upside down change the battery that's how you change the battery in this one here but i love the optic this one here you just saw me did it you just saw me did it. I just literally changed the battery right there. Convenient. Without removing the optic. Okay. But um, here's your side view. I'm mean, top view. So this is bigger. Share the same footprint. Just um, the bigger reticle. More round. Okay. Here is your side view. Give you guys a little. Okay. Here's your other side view. Okay. Just giving you guys an idea. Okay. And here's your back view. See, share the same footprint. You can see this is round and this is square. But they're both rugged. You drop them, you drop them, you throw them, whatever you want to do. They are robust. They are very, very reliability. They are very, very <clears throat> um, reliable. They don't break easy. And these two here made in the U.S. Okay. That's all I have now for the review, guys. Just giving you guys a comparison of what are our, they have here and what system um, you prefer to go with. I go on both. But this is my favorite optic here. I love this optic here the most. But I like this one too. But if I want to change this out, take this out and put this on there, it will look good too. But I'm saving this. We'll see. Maybe this will go on this. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, when the time comes. All right, guys. This is the review of the SRO. A little bit of comparison from Trijicon. Hope you guys like the review. There's more videos are coming. Please stay tuned for more video and more footage. Um, oh, I forgot to mention you. This is an open um, open meter here. here. You can see the red uh, the LED is shining to the grass. So it's not a closed a mirror. It's an open meter. Okay, but. This here is very popular. It really, uh, most people love this optic here. I love it. This is my, my favorite, favorite optic, man. I love this optic. I love this optic, man. Wide, open. Get dots on sight. Get your dots on target quick. All right, guys. That's all right now. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs like. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell. Every Friday is always a new video. I try to keep my videos going. Every Friday, please post it as much as I can. Um, I am busy, but I'm trying my best I can to keep this channel going. Um, there will be some more, video, uh, more videos to show you guys as well. And, um, yeah, hopefully we'll go through some training streams as well. All right, guys. Peace. I'm out. You guys have a wonderful weekend.